Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, let's run the program first. Today we are going to make our search field functional and display uh, data for these two fields above. So let's try to search laptop. There's nothing happening. Uh, smart TV, nothing. So let's go back to our coding area uh, or we will be using the key release method or event we'll delete this one and then uh, since we already have this function last time we will just copy this one no need to recreate just copy and paste on this functions or method but first here we will try to create a string variable for our search field we'll call this one as search temp and this will be equal to our variable name and then dot oops dot get text plus our wildcard that we will be using in our SQL query so now we have the string and our white card we will modify this uh, SQL query here uh, select asterisk from asset info um, where where because we will be searching for our asset name this one so where asset name like um, so like uh, we will put single quotation and double quotation inside and double plus and then we will pass here the variable search temp okay so after this one um, okay after this one uh -huh. let's check first yeah so I think this is all we need for the search field let's try and run and see what will happen run file laptop ah uh, yeah it's working smart TV yeah it's working let's say Toyota only so it's working and LCD so it's LCD is just display uh, laptop yeah it's working so let's go back again and we will do these uh, two fields above so what we are going to do next is we will create a function that will uh, count the total of assets and uh, sum the total of amounts that we have inside this amount column so we will try to create a function right under our show table data so here let's double check first yeah so we'll create a function uh, but first we'll try to check our variable name is text total column total count assets total amount of asset so public void count asset and then asterisk yeah so we will put our uh, statements inside our inside a try catch because this is the standard yeah uh, we will take care of the exception first so we will not be having any error and then uh, we will just copy this statement here because this is the same as connecting uh, I think also this one PST 
so we need this one we will put that here and um yeah we'll be needing this one and then okay okay and then we will cl uh, modify our SQL statement here so let's go to our uh, PHP my admin so this is our database and this is our table so let's try here first select asterisk from add asset info and then go yeah it shows all but what we need is what we need is to count all assets from add asset info yeah so it counted here 7 so show query box so let's make an alias name for this one as total asset and also we will be summing all our uh, amount column and we'll make an alias for this also as total amount yeah let's try to run yeah so total asset 7 total amount 212,700 so show query box let's just copy this one and then paste inside here and then uh, we will put rs in uh, we will put the result inside our result set, result set variable and let's execute this query no uh, sql um, pst dot execute query yeah we need that one so okay so the result of this one the result of our SQL query is now in our result set variable or in uh, result set instance variable so what we need now is uh, we will route our result to our to text field here so we will use if and then uh, so same as same as this one rs dot next uh, okay so we'll just copy our variable name so uh, dot um, uh, set text and then rs dot get string so oops rs dot get wait rs dot get get string get string yeah this one and then the string that we will be using here is this one our alias for our alias name okay and then we will also be needing the variable name for the total amount uh, let's do that here same as set text and then uh, rs dot get string and then we will use the uh, alias name total amount oops okay and then let's remove some extra spaces yeah i think this uh, this is all we need but let's put a marker here uh, start function 
for counting asset and sum of amount so that it is easy to locate um, and of function and also we will uh, start function for showing or displaying data displaying table info and then we will close that here <coughs> as end of function so what we are lacking is this one this is only for exception so uh, for this moment there's no need for that then let's try to run what will the program do run file oh there's nothing there's nothing in the two fields but the search is still working so let's go back to the coding and then uh, let us see ah okay i remember now we will call that inside our class constructor because the function of the class constructor is to initialize all fields all instance upon loading so when the program loads the constructor calls this instance here and initialize it so let's try to see what happened run file yeah there it is total number of count of asset is 7 which corresponds to our total number in the database and the total amount actually let's make it a little bigger so if we have a big amount it will fit in there so let's try to run the whole program now log in so it's also functioning uh, let's try to add one more asset let's say we have a mobile phone mobile phone description would be brand is Oppo and then uh, specs is a uh, mm -hmm. A lollipop lollipop and then, then cph3235 this is for demonstration only and the ram is uh, 4gb 4gb and processor is no only this one and then the po number is uh one two this one and then the amount is six thousand and we have you ordered three unit on 2021 month of june and the day of 10 on the same day you receive the amount and the invoice supplier name will be oppo oppo company and then warranty is one or six month warranty notes will be brand new for example so let's add to the database information added so now it's added here and then okay so i hope these mobile phone will be also reflected on the inventory so let's close this interface and view our inventory 
yeah it's here and the uh, amount also is updated according to the total sum of this uh, column so let's try to search mobile phone yeah mobile our search field is working laptop yeah it's working also so that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching